Hey guys, happy dude here. You know, I have always have wondered something. And that is when you put high quality, high octane fuel in your car, can you actually measure a difference in performance? Now there are enough videos on YouTube where you can see that uh, high quality, high octane fuel adds horsepower so i have done something different i have used draggy so we can see if you can actually measure uh, the time uh, from 50 to 200 kilometers an hour and 100 to 200 kilometers an hour and see if there is a difference in time and also uh, less distance to get to that speed now i have done this test with uh, the same tire the same tire pressure and it was almost the same temperature um, i have done the first test with also um, 98 octane from a different brand and then i've used 98 octane from uh, Shell V Power. I did this because I wanted to be a fair comparison and went not between uh, 95 octane and 98 octane because that would be obvious. So it's the same octane but from a different brand. And as you can see, BMW also recommends it. And I have done the test with my BMW M2. And here are the results. Uh, left is with the normal 98 octane. And right is with the V-Power from Shell. Uh, you can see on the left side 11 seconds for 100 to 200 kilometers an hour. And that was the fastest run because normal it was 11.3, 11.1 and with a distance of 481 meters and on the right side with, again with the Shell V power only 10.57 seconds and it was always the same also three times and a distance of 463 meters so 22 meters less to get to 200 kilometers an hour so that is definitely uh, a gain in power and here you can see the difference from 50 to 200 kilometers an hour left is uh, the same with the 98 octane and right is with the V power 98 octane from shell so left 14.22 seconds and right 13.20 seconds so a second off and 552 meters left and right 520 meters so 30 meters less just by changing the fuel okay guys i hope you find this video useful um, if you do uh, subscribe for more videos and hit me with a like thanks for watching bye